Hello, I'm Tom Harris with today's Climate Change Minute. We often hear from climate activists that ice sheets in the Arctic and Antarctic are melting, causing sea levels to rise. We have to remember that sea level has been rising since the end of the last glacial period about 11,550 years ago. 8,000 years ago, when there was far more ice than today, sea levels were rising 10 times faster than today. When water warms, its volume increases due to thermal expansion. We have seen that sea level has risen at about the same rate that the oceans have been warming. Melting sea ice does not increase sea level. An iceberg, for example, has 90% of its mass underwater. When water starts to freeze, it stops contracting and actually expands upon reaching 4 degrees Celsius, forming ice. Ice is about 10% less dense than water, which means that about 10% of an iceberg is above water. So when ice melts, the 10% above water combines with the 90% below and will occupy the same volume since the water is denser than ice. Similarly, melting of land glaciers will not lead to much increase in sea level. As temperatures rise, ice primarily sublimates, which means that it goes directly from a solid to a gas. This sublimated water vapor will turn back into snow when it reaches the cold Antarctic air and will fall back onto the glacier. Very little goes into the oceans. Moreover, glaciers don't grow on their coastal edges, but from the central portions inland. Thus, when we see continental ice falling into the ocean, it usually indicates that the ice mass is growing, because when central ice mass grows, the outer edge of the ice mass are often pushed out and fall into the oceans. Indeed, NASA has confirmed that Antarctica is, is accumulating ice at a rate of about 112 billion tons per year. To learn more about this and other topics in climate change, please visit icsc-canada.com.